as you can see right here, the ban list is now live. Enemy controller is now limited to one, which is pretty sad as a free-to-play player. But we also got a bunch of cards unlimited, and one of them is Shirnui Squire. This is the best combo starter in the entire Shirnui deck, and it being unlimited means that you can play three of it while also playing two solitaires, which is also limited to two. So this is a huge consistency boost for a Shirnui deck. Even though we can't play three squires in this free-to-play version of the deck, we can still play two and that's still plenty because we're also playing Samurai Skull which helps us mill zombie monsters from our deck to the graveyard. In case you don't know what Shirinui does, it is a synchro archetype based on fire zombie monsters using Spectral Sword from the graveyard to banish itself and another Shirinui monster to make your synchro monsters. And the Shirinui main deck monsters have effects when they're banished. Squire lets you discard a card and draw one card. Solitaire allows you to special summon a Shirinui from your banished pile. Samurai recycles any Shirinui monster from a graveyard. And Spirit Master destroys a face up card on the field. This is our main form of disruption. We will banish it during our opponent's turn using cards like Samurai's on field effect or Sealing Ceremony of Katon. This is a really, really good trap in our deck. It is just a R rarity continuous trap, so it is super easy to obtain. And once per turn, you can banish a fire monster from your graveyard to banish any card from your opponent's graveyard. It doesn't have to be monsters, it can banish spells and traps as well. And not only does this disrupt our opponent's graveyard, if our opponent is playing decks like Photons, you can banish their Photon Dragon when they try to revive it. And it also triggers our Shirinui Monsters effects. For example, we can pop cards with Spirit Master, we can cycle our hand with Squire, or we can Spectral Summon any banished Shirinui Monsters with Solitaire. And we can also summon back banished Synchro Monsters. It can summon any monster, and that effect is really good. And also, Raigeki Break is in the same mini box, so we can play two copies of it. It's just a good stable trap overall, and its discard cost can be useful when we want to discard our Spectral Sword if we draw it. And since Raigeki Break destroys any card, we can use it as a monster or macro removal. We're also playing some milling traps like Dice It and Needlebug Nest. You can replace Needlebug Nest with Econ if you want because they're both limited to one, but I like playing in Needlebug Nest because it helps enable your combos. And then for the extra deck, we're playing the Shinui Synchro Monsters. Let's start with Samurai Saga. It is a level 6. You'll summon it very often, using the effect of Squire to summon a tuner from your deck and then immediately Synchro Summon Samurai Saga. It doesn't have a good on-field effect, but it has quite a high attack for a level 6 monster, and also you can use it to climb into higher level synchro monsters. Uh, level 8 synchro monster is Shogun Saga. Its main use is that it has a super high attack. So its, its base attack is 3000, which is already quite a lot, but it even has a attack boosting effect. By banishing a zombie type monster from a graveyard, it gains the same amount of attack. So this is a really powerful OTK tool, and even if it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you can return any banished zombie type monsters with zero defense from your banished pile back to your graveyard. And for our boss monster, we can play Shunui Sun Saga. It is level 10, but it is quite easy to summon using the graveyard effect of Spectral Sword, banishing itself and a Shogun Saga. Or we can just have Shogun Saga and another level 2 tuner on field to summon Sun Saga. It has a board wipe effect. When it is special summoned, it can be special summoned from the graveyard or synchro summoned. It doesn't matter how it is special summoned. It can still return any number of zombie type synchro monsters that are banished or in your graveyard. And then destroy equal amount of cards that your opponent controls. And one thing to remember is that this effect destroys exactly the amount of cards you return. 
So if you return more cards than your opponent, you cannot actually destroy any cards. For example, if your opponent only has one card on the field, and you return two cards with this effect, you cannot destroy one card. You must destroy two cards. That means you cannot destroy anything. And it also has a very, very annoying protection effect. When any zombie monsters you control destroyed by battle or card effect, instead you can banish a sure new monster from your graveyard. And this is not once per turn, so you can just keep doing that as long as you have Shinui monsters in your graveyard. And since we have Link monsters now, we can also play some. Puzzlomino is just a good Link 2 monster in the game. It is also absolutely free to obtain, which is really good. It is monster removal, and also Doolittle Chimera. Uh, it has a attack boosting effect which can help you OTK or beat over your opponent's monsters. And when it is destroyed, you can recycle any fire monster from your graveyard. And for the skill, since this deck doesn't require a specific skill, we can play Draw Sand Stock. When our life points is decreased by 1500, we can randomly draw a dark monster from a deck. And since we are only playing a singular dark monster, which is Samurai Skull, we are basically guaranteed to draw a Samurai Skull when we activate our skill. And it can help us mill our Shirinui cards from our deck to start our combos. And also, if you have more Shirinui cards, you can play Triple Squire. And also, you can play three copies of Shirinui Story. This is a really, really powerful Quick play spell, which allows you to special summon Shirinui's from your deck. In that case, you might want to play more Spirit Masters because you want to discard Spirit Master of your Shirinui story. And then you might want to reduce a little bit of Samurai Skull, and then reduce the amount of Katon, and then remove some Raigeki Break. So uh, if you're are playing a more expensive version of this deck, your deck might look something like this. If you want to keep your deck 20 cards. But you can still always add more spells and traps, like staples, you can add Rageki Break, you can add Book of Moon, you can add Warning Points, you can even add Crackdown if you have it. For a 20 card combo Shinui build, this is probably what you will have. And I have also posted this deck on dlf2p.com, my own website. So if you want to check it out or check some of the older decks that I have made in my channel, you can go to the link in the description. Hmm, Ego Claw. Uh, what does this do? Uh, once per turn, if a trap card. Oh, it negates traps! That's not good. Uh, but we can still bait and negate using Raigeki Break, and then use Katon to banish Spirit Master from our graveyard. Which we will mill right now. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, but it's still annoying. And we'll just end turn here. Let's activate Katon, and then use the effect. Well, one good thing about Katon is that it banishes for cost. So even if our opponent negates it with Eagle Claw, we can still activate the effect of Spirit Master, because it is already banished as a cost. Yep, it is negated. That's fine. We still get to banish Spirit Master, and then we can pop our opponent's Utopia. Boom. Nice. And now if our opponent tries to summon any monster, we'll just pop it again with Raigeki Break. Oh, it's Karma Cut. Oh, he doesn't have anything else. Oh, does he know that if he Karma Cuts my Samurai Scout can activate its effect? <laughs> it has an effect when it is leave when it leaves the field by card effect. Uh, so that's why you never use an effect to remove Samurai Skull on the field. You always just run over it by battle. Otherwise, it'll summon another zombie from your deck. And things will get even worse for our opponent. It's cool to summon some Saga again. And let's... Oh, come on! 
Why won't you l let me deal with Ifla? It just feels wrong to not play Chris Jones after it's unloaded. Oh, are you trying to summon something from a graveyard? How about no? I activate Katon, I banish my Squire, and then I banish his gimmick puppet. And that's amazing. And then Squire has its effect to draw a card and then discard a card. So let's draw one and then discard Samurai. But I don't see a lot of people playing gimmick puppets. Yeah, there's the Link. Um, the Link monster's effect doesn't activate when it is summoned. It is a, a spell speed 1 effect. So I can just destroy it now to prevent him from activating its effect. Um, but I'm still gonna win probably. Oh, he's having free cards. That's not cool. We can activate the effect of Spectre of Sword from a graveyard, and that enables our entire combo. We'll banish the Solitaire that we just sent to the graveyard. And then summon our second level 6 zombie synchro monster. And Solitaire will revive. Yeah, we'll summon back the Spectral Sword. And yeah, this combo is made possible because we have a uh, extra monster zone. And then we can do it all over again. This time using the samurai from our extra monster zone to summon Shogun from our extra monster zone. And then uh, we will banish. Let's actually banish Spectral Sword. You'll see why in a minute. Oh, he's gonna compose back my... Oh, that's actually okay. Oh, that's not okay, I lied. <laughs> Triple compose! Wow, this guy. You know what? Respect. Huge respect. Just casually draws three copies of compose. But uh, I still don't think he's going to win because I have Katon and Katon completely counters his deck. So uh, I don't think three copies of uh, of Compulse is going to save him. Uh, you know what? Let's banish the Destroy. I bet that's the only trap he's playing in the entire deck as well. Anyway, uh, yeah, he. Probably can't win anyway because uh, I my singular cat on counters his, his entire deck.